Howdy guys, I'm back with more of The Witcher 2. Today I need to go speak with Cynthia about Deerhenna's grimoire. We need to talk. Of course. About the expedition, wonder what else we could find here, and you put on quite an act in Vergen. Yeah, seriously, the whole lesbomancy was just an act, but worth it to make Philippa look like a fool. You had me fooled back in Vergen. That sweet face of yours. Never suspected it could belong to someone who fanatically believes in conquering the North. Mock me if you must. But I truly believe one huge empire is humanity's only hope. Seriously? Many nations under one crown. With shared laws, advanced science, burgeoning industry and trade, and no wars, of course. Of course. Sounds great. Let me know when it works out. I'd gladly spend my old age in a land like that. Uh, yes, sweet summer child. I wonder who benefits the most from many nations being under one crown with no one to oppose them. Yikes. This, that's some pretty dangerous thinking, I think. Hmm. So, uh, wonder what else we could find here. These ruins must hold many secrets. I'm certain of that. It was a beautiful city. A city full of talent and hope. But that ill ended with the coming of the Nordling armies. Think the city would have survived if those armies had been Imperial? Your king started the war with the Enshe. Nilfgaard's relations with the elves have always been peaceful. They really did a job on your brain. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I'm inclined to believe Geralt. He's seen a lot in his time and... Gosh, Cynthia just seems as naive as they come. So, down to business. About the expedition. That was an interesting adventure, Cynthia. Yes. People bond over experiences like that. Giggity. Yeah, kind of makes you wonder what happened back in Vergen. Did you get your promotion? Not yet. But His Imperial Majesty rewards dedication. Can he discern the truth from lies? What do you mean? I take it the Emperor has no idea his sorceress helped a mutant kill a Nilfgaardian mage. It was a dangerous expedition. Casualties were inevitable. He'll content himself with that. Got time to talk? Or are you off on another dangerous mission? Even we Nilfgaardian agents rest sometimes. Oh. Every word you say is a lie. Oh, is that really the case? I know about the book. What did Dear Anna actually research and was the artifact useful? Okay, so was the artifact useful? Used the artifact yet? I'm working on improving it. I think it'll be useful one day. Oh, really? That's it? Okay, um, what did Deerhenna actually research? I found some of Deerhenna's notes. He studied the history of the Vrans, right? Among other things. He makes several mentions of an epidemic. Loch Muin conceals many more secrets than we imagined. I doubt we'll ever know all of them. Well, if is to be trusted, the epidemic had something to do with the Enshe. Maybe the Vrans caught the disease from the elves. I'm no expert on diseases, Witcher. Who knows? Perhaps Dare Henna was right, and the decline of Vrani civilization was much darker and more sudden than we thought. Hmm. Okay. Um, so I know about the book. You knew what we'd find in that laboratory. Come again? You wanted the bacteria strains that killed the Vrans, or more precisely, Dare Henna's notes from his research into them. This is very dangerous knowledge. I suspect that's exactly why the Emperor oh. is so interested. The North is in chaos. An epidemic is the last thing you need. And one could break out if Dare Henna's book fell into the wrong hands. Fortunately, it's now in the right hands. In Emir's civilized and manicured hands. Precisely. Oh, dear. Okay, so... So that was the actual real reason behind the ex- I got- Gosh, I'm a fool, aren't I? So... Biological warfare incoming in Witcher 3? Because, okay, so this- this quest? This was, like, um... Was- I think, if I'm not mistaken, was this the quest that was added in the, um... Like, a- the, the new edition of this game? So, I'm guessing this- might have more of a link to Witcher 3 than maybe some of the other side quests or stuff. Or, I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it, but 
Oh gosh, that's that's very troubling. So, every word you say is a lie and I'm a fool. I'm finding it hard to believe anything you say. Did you come here to insult me? Uh, no. Sorry. <laughs> what exactly do you want? <laughs> I'm curious to know the real Cynthia. I suppose I am. I'm curious to know the real Cynthia. I was curious. I wanted to see which Cynthia I'd meet this time. The spy, the sorceress, or maybe the woman. Which were you hoping to meet? The real one. Let's assume you're speaking to her. How do you like her? Oh boy. Let's say I like her quite a bit. Wait, what? Compliments are clearly not your forte. I just told you why I've come. Care to tell me why you invited me? Let's say I was interested to see which Geralt would show up. And? Is this flirting? Embrace Cynthia, push Cynthia away. Oh dear, are we doing this? Ah, yeah, we're doing this. Why not? I might as well. Might as well have... S uh, do I want to get involved with this, though? Yeah. <laughs> I've already been with Arsletta. What's... Oh. All right. Hey, what was that about? <laughs> I thought I was going to do that to you. I don't like aggressive women. I'm frightened. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Poor Triz. Oh, I'm sorry, Triz. <laughs> well, it's better than with Philippa, right? The minstrels got it right. Women of the South are both passionate and clever. I like to improvise. Yeah, I noticed. Farewell, Cynthia. The fail. I... I'm just confused, honestly. <laughs> was that... Was that it there? Wait, what, what, what? Okay, I guess that was... That was it. Okay, I feel like a dummy. <laughs> I thought that maybe this was a... Another... It's a brazen attack. King Radovid will learn oh. of this. I thought that Radovid this would be like another idiot. quest chain to Radovid. investigate oh, this disease or something further, but it ends right there. I should have just done this last time. I feel like an idiot now. Whoopsie. I I guess that was it. I guess we can't go again, can we? I, I don't know. I can still click on this. That was an interesting adventure, Cynthia. <laughs> yes. People bonded. <laughs> that was an interesting ad adventure. Oh, okay. That, that's it, though. This okay, would never okay. happen if the Conclave still existed. All right, all right. So, and if had a hmm. I, I guess there, all there is to do is, um, hmm. I'm not sure if, let's see, I, I, I can do this Summit of Mages. I'm not really sure if there's really a lot I can do with this or this right now. I feel like the Where is Triss Marigold and the Assassins are um, going to be resolved after this, right? So, sounds like I need to talk to Yorvith, and honestly, I don't think I can walk around the town very much. Red like, notice magic, the... On my mini-map here, these guards are, like, walls. red, Break and... Hey, I've tried and wandering around a hats. little bit, and I think Turn the guard... Away the black cat. Would you shut up? Oh my gosh, this guy just won't stop talking. And <laughs> the rat. But, uh, yeah, I... I don't think I can wander very freely around, because I think I've, like, pissed a lot of people off. Why is this guy standing here? In a hurry to get to the deliberations. Has Saskia spoken yet? That cunt inspired what? dreams of freedom among the peasantry. Now all Eden stands in flames. Peasants slaughter nobles. They just wanted a free Vergen. Free Vergen? To hell with a lot of you! Okay, that was strange. <laughs> a magic word. It can replace nourishment, inspire the masses to fight. Those who cry freedom can perform miracles. Stennis underestimated the meaning of freedom when he poured poison into the mouth of one who spoke that word earnestly. Edern has no king. It has no ruler. Instead, it has famine, disease, bandits, and poverty. The fight for freedom is always good, but then rulers must be chosen, and it all starts again. Yet the free are joyful, even if a bit hungry. Uh, 
That was... That was interesting. Well, I don't know, I... Free? Would I think... Would I rather be free than hungry? I don't know. Freedom is pretty nice. Being able to do what you want to do and no one telling you what to do is pretty darn nice. I don't think I would trade that for a thing. Oh, here's the... The, I think this is the bearded Welcome. elf. Welcome. <laughs> I'm Elona, the bearded she -elf. Yes, yes, okay. Bearded. <laughs> Don't be a child. We came here to perform, but this place is a circus in itself. Nobody's interested in us, so we're on to plan B. Trade. <laughs> what do you sell? Food. Fresh. Very good. You want to buy something, or are you waiting for my beard to grow out? <laughs> All right, I've uh, I've already bought the beard before, so <laughs> it's kind of a kind of a waste of money <laughs> or orins, whatever. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna do this then. Off to your. I see you took care of the guards. I hate those monastic curs. Thank you. They're not paragons of virtue, true. But they were just doing their job. Then they didn't do it well enough. <laughs> Can we go now? Oh gosh, it's time not yet. Oh gosh. <sighs> I suppose it's time. Um, I don't think there's really an, any other particularly exciting side quests, and I don't think I can really wander around the city as much, so let's do it. Yes, let's go. Time to finish it. Indeed. It is time. Oh my gosh. We're on track to the end here. I can't wait to see how it's going to be different this time. This Whether you exciting. like it or not, John Natalis, Tamaria will be divided. It's For the good of the entire North. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. At present, Temeria is starting to resemble the Pontar Valley. Which, if I understand correctly, is currently controlled by Edern. You are mistaken, Radovid. Vergen is free. Free? What precisely does that mean? Lormark is not Kedwin's, and Edern no longer controls Upper Edern. We have rejected Prince Stennis. So I heard. <laughs> and handed King Hensel's army a resounding defeat. Your forces, my dear lass, are nothing but a motley array of rebellious peasants and elven brigands. Sooner or later, they will need to swear allegiance to someone, or they will be defeated and dispersed. Is that a point? The peoples of the Pontar Valley will swear allegiance to me, Queen Saskia. Oh, that's the point. As an independent realm, we hereby speak in favor of reconstituting the council and conclave. Oh, that's the You're a lovely girl, but you issue from common stock. The sole crown you are worthy of donning is a wreath woven of wildflowers. <laughs> Redania will recognize no other coronation. Wow. In that case, you must choose King Radovid. Will you carve up to Meria? Or march on the Pontar Valley? Henselt, last of the line of the unicorns, has sworn to recognize the Pontar Valley as a free realm. Philippa Eilhart witnessed it. Last thing she uh, witnessed. Uh, uh. <laughs> Philippa Eilhart is in my dungeon, awaiting trial for treason. She was in your dungeon, Radovid, but is no longer. She will sit at my side in Vergen as my royal advisor. Everything we did in Vergen will be in vain. There's still hope. We have the dagger. To the matter at oh, hand. Oh, I forgot. The document describing the charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the charter found in the ruins on Thaned Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisors. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Of course. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed, as well as by all but one of the designated advisors. 
We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisors to cowherds at most. <laughs> that is true, your majesty. He's so big-headed. <laughs> My kings, before you sign this document, please hear me out. Excellency, with all due respect, this matter does not concern Nilfgaard in the least. Oh. I am here at King Hensel's bidding. Will you deny my right to speak? Oh. This is interesting. With the... Uh, uh, what is the meaning of this? This man tried to kill me this morning. He attempted to take an Imperial Envoy's life in your lands. I presume he was interrogated. He confessed. Faltest and Demiven died by his hand. He also revealed the identity of his employers. Yep. Sorceresses. They helped me with my assassinations. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Speak on. The Lodge of Sorceresses sought to remove those rulers who acted against the will of mages. Lodge of Sorceresses? We have compiled a list. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, Tris Merigold, Kira Metz, Francesca Finderbear, Ida Amin, and finally, Sheila de Tanzaville. To my deepest regret, two Nilfgaardian sorceresses, Asira Varanahid and Fringa de Vigo, were also members. The Emperor will deal with them accordingly. Our queen will have to powder her nose. <laughs> you mean turn into a dragon? <laughs> it's dragon time! Oh yeah, dragon time is imminent. She is fully under the sorceress's control. Your Majesty, what's the meaning of this? Arrest them all. Your document will have to wait, honorable sorceress. Wow, he just tears it up. You have no right. Surrender now if you don't want another massacre, this time in Loch Nguyen. A court of law will reveal the traitors. Oh. Wait, what? Where's the... It's not... Oh, here we go. There we go. I was getting a little worried. She was almost late. There we go. Hi there, Queen Saskia. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. <laughs> this is pretty cool a second time, knowing it's um, Saskia. Poor Saskia. Completely under the sorceress's control again. So, I guess this is going to be kind of similar. I'm guessing I'm going to have to deal with her, but uh, they, they mentioned that we have uh, the dagger, so I'm not sure if there's something... I, I, I guess I'll just have to see what happens. Let's see. Geralt! Oh. We're trapped! I can't get through! Oh, of Sheila! course. Sheila! You must get Sheila! Of course, of course. What else is new? Okay, so all my quests failed. Ah. <laughs> all right, Summit of Mages. Um, the summit's main subject was Loremark, or rather the new kingdom formed on those lands and recognized by Adern and Cadwen. The Nilfgaardians trotted out the captured Kingslayer Letho. These sorcerers continued on about recreating the council and conclave. I regret not being there, for Geralt forgot half the, of the speeches and misremembered the other half. Yet no one could forget the event that interrupted the summit, for a dragon and all of its majesty appeared over the amphitheater. Chaos ruled the bleachers. Guess who had to face the beast? Of course, me. Geralt ran for Shelly to Tanserville as fast as his legs would carry him. He could hear the sorceress's voice in his head, and the more she said, the more he wanted to silence her. Yet Shelly held one more trump card, the dragon. Oh yeah, I will try... Hmm. I think I will try not to let Shelly get completely exploded this time, but we'll see. I'm 
I, I, I might Turn have back while you can, Witcher. Turn back? That's not like me. Come on now. Oh. Alright, I guess I can turn back and pick a flower. Why not? <laughs> you can't stop me. Not you, not anyone else. Uh, I, I, I disagree. I'm pretty good at stopping people. It's kind of my job. Oh, great, great. If I have to, I will kill you. I don't feel like I feel as much malice for ah towards Chile this How time. How do you like my dragon? <laughs> do I? I don't know. I just feel like since I was around her less, I'm more mad at Philippa, but I don't know. Philippa kind of got hers, I guess. So. Sasenthesis. Tell him now. Sasenthesis. Oh, poor Saskia. She's. You're late. I've already managed to stabilize the portal. All right. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sir Synthesis will tend to him, as she will to all the fools who get a hard on at the mere <laughs> thought of burning a sorceress at the stake. Where is he? I don't know, fool. I've been looking for him since Foltest's assassination. Letho cheated all of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. Yeah. Don't you understand? The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Demavend, that's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edurn would eventually choke to death under his rule. We chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Voltest? Henselt? We had nothing to do with that. After assassinating Demavend, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorveth. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over, or so I thought. The Lodge did not condemn Foltest to die. Then who did? Nilfgaard. Letho is the King of Liars and Emperor of Traitors. From the start, he worked for the glory of the Great Sun and the White Flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, your vet, your stupid little Triss. <laughs> and you. Got any evidence? A moment ago, I received a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? And can you count on another miracle at Brenna? I don't know, but you made it all possible and you'll answer for that. The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. No one will tell this story. Don't Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. This is your end, Witcher. Oh, see, she's- Farewell! She's so sure Something's of herself. Right. <laughs> the diamond! Someone replace the diamond! This one's flawed, I'll be torn to bits! Geralt, remove it! I will this time. Just for the You sake waited of... long enough. <laughs> Should you survive, go south to Nilfgaard. Where you'll find Yennefer of Vengerberg. Farewell, Witcher. Oh. Sensitive guy. I got a Steam achievement called Sensitive Guy. So yeah. Wah! Okay. So Yennefer is in the south, which Die. Oh, that's the steel sword. Do I think do, do I want a silver sword for this? I think here we go. Um, which I don't know. I don't know if that was any. It's not really sure if that was really any new information. I kind of assumed that by this point. Well, or Letho kind of told me in the first playthrough. But I, gosh, I'm just getting smacked around everywhere by this dragon. So I can fully expect to see Yennefer in Witcher 3. I can't wait to meet her. I really can't. I hope she's not as crazy as all these other damn sorceresses because I'm about done with them. <laughs> oh man. So this is really cool seeing it from this, this point of view. And you know, it was really hard not to let the crystal rip Shele apart because she's just so damn sure of herself there at the end. And I, I hate it. I hate a sore winner like that. Not that you'll survive. Oh shoot, was I supposed to put on like um, that special, oh, I, that dagger or something? Or maybe I'll get a prompt because I know I'm gonna be Dragon Rider Geralt here for a second. All right, let's climb. Let me, let me see. Hold on here. Um, 
defeat Philippa Eilhart's dagger. Okay, is, I think I probably need to put that on, I assume. Let me go ahead and put that on. I'm going to assume I need to have that on. That might have why it had my steel sword out initially, so I'm probably supposed to have that on and make sure I have that out. Oh yeah, it's a goofy little dagger. Okay, so I guess I need to poke her with this. So, oh, I can't save right now, so I'm guessing I poke her with this enough and she'll come to her senses or something. Um, st steel sword is not effective against monsters, but it's special. I don't think this is... Alright. It, okay, might be. I might have to maybe stab. It might be like a. I'm just getting rocked around here. It might be for like, like after Geralt rides her and stuff. Uh, when you hey, dragon tactics. Don't get me with the tail. Yikes! There we go. Um, after I I beat her down here, when Geralt rides her a little bit, I think we'll probably get to. Uh, maybe get the opportunity to stab her with the dagger, I'm assuming. I hope so. I don't want to, like, kill her. I like her. I feel sorry for her that she's in this stupid situation from Philippa and, um, Chile. Boy, I'm getting- she's giving me a spanking, though. Of course, I'm being kind of sloppy about this. I'm not even trying here. Let me- I guess I gotta, gotta get serious about this. Let's do that. And... I, I'm not good at do dodging stuff, so I don't play Dark Souls or anything that requires actual skill. <laughs> oh gosh, there's fire everywhere! Alright, um... I, I guess I'm just gonna keep swinging wildly until she's out of health. I don't know if I need to switch to that, like, steel dagger with the, um, the Philippa da dagger or not. Uh, let me use this. Oh my gosh, so much fire! Alright, this is gonna start smacking you under here girl you're driving me nuts I feel like I'm having I feel like I'm having a harder time than I did the first time I fought her as uh, on the the Roche playthrough I uh, no! dang it I tried to roll and I was too slow oh yikes okay okay where where, where what oh she's right here yikes ah all right I suck I suck I suck all right no, let me up let me up let me up <laughs> I've I've spent most of my time on the ground here Alright, let's see if I can get like a couple of swings. Nope, I'm on fire. Alright, let's see if I can get in some swings here. Stop smacking me around. You're making me look bad, Saucia. Gosh. Alright, uh, almost got her. Just a couple more swings, maybe. Come on, come on, Saskia. Come on, let me get you. I'm just like smashing my Q button, hoping I can get a couple of Igneys, and she's airborne. Oh, nope, here we go. Alright, so this is where I'm thinking maybe I'll get a, um, maybe I'll get like a, an option or something to stab her with uh, the Philippa dagger. I really hope so. I want to get Saskia back to her senses. This is a pretty easy way of getting around, not gonna lie. Can I just, uh... Can I just ride to the south on Saskia? Saskia, go south. I got things to do. <laughs> oh, nope, we're going down. Oh, that's... I like how Geralt holds his weapon out while he rolls there. So he doesn't kill himself rolling around with his own weapon. <laughs> Gosh, I... I didn't re I guess Saskia may not even live with that tree through her, huh? Even if I do spare her, right? Let's see. Alright, here's where I'm hoping I get a choice. Oh! What's going on? Oh! Not really a choice, we're just gonna go over here and pet the poor thing on her head. Ah, okay, I didn't have to equip the dagger or anything. I way overcomplicated it, okay. Derp, <laughs> go me. Poor sauce, yeah, I hope she's gonna be okay. I don't know. Oh no. Yes, maybe? Possible? Oh, shoot. I think we can skip the niceties. Yeah, 
unnecessary. Yet I sense your readiness to fight on. Uh... Important caution. I don't know that I can trust you. No, it's like you have a hole in you. Are you okay? Inborn caution, I guess. We were fighting to the death just minutes ago. I understand. I believe I owe you part of my treasure. Family tradition and all. <laughs> Dragon, I get no it. No need. Can you make it back to Vergen? I think so. I've always healed quickly in the past. Oh, really? So she's gonna be okay. Alright, Yorvith freed you from the spell you owe him. Philip has escaped. I met another dragon once. Eh. Alright, Philip has escaped. Philip took advantage of the chaos and escaped. Think she could reveal your secret? It's nothing I can control. I don't intend to pursue her. We may or may not meet again, but I shall leave that to fate. She's not one to give up easily. I think she'll come after you again, try to take control, as soon as she's done licking her wounds. I shall be cautious next time, and I know much more about Eilhart than she would ever wish. Hmm, I bet I won't ask you that, and no, you know, I will ask you that. How is that? Um, yeah, how, how exactly is that? More than she would wish. Interesting. I obeyed Philippa, but I was not blind. She is. What? We were close. And Eilhart could not keep all her secrets concealed. I know her weakness, something that can destroy her in an instant. Do tell. Valuable and dangerous knowledge. Precisely why I'll keep it to myself. Seriously? I... Really? You're gonna tell me? I just saved you. Everyone's so mean to me. I'm having such a bad time. The Lodge's plans are ruined. Sheila and Philippa have lost. The Lodge has been defeated. That's good. Though temporary, I fear we shall hear of them again. Uh -huh. mm. You know, Emir's armies have crossed the Yuruga. I expected as much, as did Philippa. We defeated the Adernian lords and Henselt. With a bit of luck, we'll defeat the Emperor as well. Nope. Uh, Vafe. Oh, I guess that's if you want to leave. So, Yorvith freed you from the spell, by the way. Can you tell me what'll happen to Yorvith now? Let's be honest. He's a terrorist. Oh. I'll not lie about him nor whitewash his deeds. He must earn respect on his own, and perhaps, a few generations on, humans will forget. Did you intend just to use him? Geralt, Yorvith has killed more humans than you've eaten chickens. He's not one to be used. It's not that simple. He came to believe in me and knew from the start what we were fighting for. He made a choice. Sure you don't know what I'm talking about? Those baby doe eyes, that intense misty gaze, the pouting? We shared a cause, fought side by side. Yorvith did and would do anything for you. Question is, what are you prepared to do for him? There will always be a place for the Scoyatel in the free Pontar Valley. As to Yorvith himself, I've heard many say crude things about us. Thing is, as long as I can remember, I found dwarves fascinating. Uh huh. Must be a dragon thing. And though preferable to a human, an elf would be a compromise. Um. <laughs> is she. Is she, is she saying she has a thing for dwarves? I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I have a thing for short guys with glorious beards myself, actually. So, I met another dragon once. You know, you're not the first dragon I've talked to. Hmm. You met my father, Villain Tretinmer, known also as Bork Three Jackdaws. Uh-huh. I thought he couldn't have children. He thought so as well. Hmm. Polymorphing. Did you get that from him? Just a hint of it. I can only assume one human form. He could transform into anyone he liked. Really? You also don't have his quickness and reflexes. I don't think I saw a single golden scale on you. Nor do I have his moustache or paunch. Sorry to disappoint you. Professional curiosity. Forgive me. Where is Bork these days? Who can know that? He taught me what he thought I should know and flew off yonder. It's the dragon's way. And he gave me my name. Sasenthesis, if I heard right. I prefer being Saskia. Me too. So, I 
kind of feel like maybe Papa Dragon might have been in one of the books or something, the way Geralt says I met a dragon once, so I'll be reading those while I've started listening to them, or listening to them or whatever, but definitely getting through those now. All right, Vathel Saskia. Time I was on my way. You shall always be a welcome guest in Vergen. I underline guest. Hey. Don't worry. I'm only ever a visitor. I know. Sometimes I wish I could see the future, like my father. And sometimes it's better to be surprised. Farewell, Witcher. I'd rather be surprised. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Lochmoyne, it's stabbing time. Sorceress is getting blasted left and right. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh boy. Just so gruesome. Just in and out like a quick. Oh my gosh, that's so. Oh my gosh. That's beyond. Oh my gosh, that's so cruel. Oh my gosh. Radovid. I don't like you. I thought you were okay, but. I don't like you now. Your handiwork, sire. In the beginning, there was chaos. Wow. Epilogue. All right, one last thing to deal with. Hey, buddy. What happened to Saskia? She's alive. Wounded from our scrap, but alive. She impaled herself on a tree, and then I had to use that dagger. But she'll make it. Mountain air is good for a dragon's hide. You're the most noble human I know, Gwynblade. I'm no human. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you reminded me. My hatred for the species abated for a moment. Just a second. What about Letho? Strange thing. He sits in the Temerian's former camp. I believe he awaits you. How do you know? I saw him. He's got Triss. Oh. Let's go. Tell me what happened here on the way. While you were fighting Saskia, the city was staged to a bloody spectacle. The players? There were many. At first, it was a hunt for the traitors, but it soon turned into a hunt for all mages. And there were a few skirmishes between Kedweni, Redanian, and Temerian troops. Rape, pillage, and murder. Not necessarily in that order. Ooh. The pastimes of the Order's pious knights. And the regular troops soon followed suit. The kings, with their choice units, left the city just after the dragon attacked. And the Nilfgaardians? Remained neutral. That is to say, they shot anyone who dared approach their camp. Oh my goodness. It's, ooh, gosh. It's so weird seeing this from the, from the other side. It's completely, it's just completely chaos, man. This game is crazy. And so, I guess so, Shelard doesn't die in, uh, in, well, with the, oh. <laughs> oh. When we're done with you, you'll be a lump of whimpering meat. Oh, that's cruel. Oh my gosh. Elf! Kill the non human. Oh, this is interesting. Kate Winnie's still not done fighting the Kate Winnie. <laughs> After all of this. Is that girl still alive? Does she want to be alive? Yes. Beast! 
bloody sons of bitches! Will you be all right? Yes, thank you. Leave me. What happened here? When the summit ended, we hid in one of the houses, but they found us. They cut off both my sister's hands so she wouldn't cast spells, oh. but I managed to escape. They caught me here. Let's go, Gwynblade. This is madness. To say Our the queen least. queen has changed. That's what it looks like now. Oh my gosh. This is just so gruesome. Oi, all right, let's let's get out of here. Um oh gosh. There it's like it looks like it rained except it's just blood instead. Oh my gosh. Well, you don't have a Witcher game unless there's bodies hanging everywhere. I think I heard something. Imperial troops. And everything's on fire. Imperial. Long live the Emperor! Oh. Alright. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna be. Oh, I need to. I need to. S oh, I need to. I forgot to switch my steel weapon back to something not stupid, so I'm just swinging this goofy dagger around. <laughs> Good thing I've got a. Uh, I've got, like, Die, decent spells. <laughs> Well, this, this weapon really sucks. I, I really gotta put on the right steel weapon or I'm gonna have a really rough time this last little bit of the game here. Oh gosh, how embarrassing. Yorvith, help me! What are you doing over there? Die, dog! Wait, where's Yorvith? Oh gosh, alright. I'm just death by a, a million cuts here. Okay, this guy with the shield is just ridiculous. Alright, let's heavy attack him repeatedly. I'm eventually gonna... All right, I'm gonna have to here. I'm gonna have to like. There we go. Nope. Oh wait, that that's not what I wanted. Here we go. There we go. Nope, that's still not really what I wanted to have happen. I was hoping he would. I don't know. There we go. He's dead. Whatever. All right. First thing I need to do <laughs> at the end of all that is put my real weapon back on. Yikes. <laughs> all right. There we go. We good to go. Finish your story. Yeah. I managed to sneak into the Nilf Guardian camp. It was relatively quiet there. Then I saw Letho leading Triss out. They let him go? No one dared stop him. I followed him. I think he noticed me, but didn't seem to care. Once the fighting died down, he went to the former Temerian camp. Is Triss all right? Yes. Letho defended her from marauders. Huh. So this is going to be completely different since um, Letho has... Um, Tris, so and I've got the one thing I'm gonna keep in mind this time is that uh, Cynthia told me not to trust Letho, so ooh, that's quite a bit better than what I have, isn't it? But I like all the stats on mine, so I'm gonna keep it. Oh boy, I can't. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't believe how gruesome this all is. I guess there's not really much point in me looting anything really at this point, is there? Alright, so let's open this up and I think just beyond here will be Letho and the last of Witcher 2. It's I guess about time to say goodbye to Witcher 2 and go into Witcher 3. I'm so excited. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop here and brace myself for the final moment here with Letho. Thank you guys so much for watching me play The Witcher today. Really do appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you with the epilogue next time. Thanks again, and bye for now.